did Jesus mention Muhammad? We can get into that. Where would I know about Jesus mentioned Muhammad? Well, your Quran says he did, so it's quoting. Where, where does the Quran say he mentions him? 61 verse 6. What does it say? It says that Jesus came with glad tidings, right. saying that a messenger named Ahmed will come after him. Right. So what's your point? So if, if, if asking, that's what Allah says, okay, yes, then yes. If Allah says he did, then he did, yes. Okay, so where can I find Jesus making making this statement? It question. would. I don't know. What are you asking me for? You don't know? What are you asking me for? Is this, so So it's not verifiable? No, no. Look, my paradigm or your paradigm? I'm, I'm just asking. Is, it you know, who's matter. paradigm though? Well, it, it does matter. It does matter. Is that paradigm shit? Are we in my paradigm or are we in your paradigm? Well, I, I think we're, it's not, it's not about paradigms here. We're it kind in, of is. We're, we're looking at, no, because we're looking at a statement. Oh, okay. So I'll Quran. take my position. Oh, I'll take my, let me, uh, yeah, let okay. me finish, please. Go on. Then. We're looking at a statement from the Quran that puts words in the mouth of someone historical. Right. When it puts words in the mouth of someone historical, right. I want to know where can I actually find this person actually making this claim, making this statement. You want to find some piece of paper somewhere where Jesus went around speaking to people and mentioned Muhammad. That's what you want, yeah? I, that's, I, I need the evidence. Yeah. And, and this is a reality. You haven't a clue what Jesus went around and said about anything. Really? Person. You have no evidence for this. Okay. You've got no evidence for this. Okay. Okay. Well, okay. Okay. Yeah. So, so, you you, so you haven't. You haven't. You don't. You don't know. You don't know what Jesus said, where he went, what miracles he did. You have really? no reliable sources of information for this. Do, do Do you know where Jesus went? I don't need to. I'm a Muslim, mate. That's what I'm asking. Do you know where Jesus? But I'm a Muslim. Went? I'm a Muslim. Why are you asking hey, me? Why would I do care? You, do you believe, Do you believe that he's your Messiah? Do I believe he's my Messiah? Yeah. No. So you don't believe that Jesus is your? So no. so who's the Messiah? Messiah was. Jesus, the Messiah sent to the Bani Israel, to the children of Israel. As he wait, stated, wait, 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 wait a second. Does does not your Quran say that Jesus is a sign for mankind? I believe Jesus is the Messiah to the Bani Israel. Was he a sign for mankind? For the Bani Israel. Okay, so you, maybe you're unaware of this. Chapter 19, verse 21. It says that Allah says that he made Jesus a sign and a mercy for mankind. Chapter 21, uh, verse oh, 19. Okay. Okay. So that Jesus is a okay. sign well, for well, mankind. Mankind is went. Mankind went. Is he just for Israel, or is, he for mankind? is he just for Israel, or is he also for oh, mankind? Oh, okay. Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. Okay. When he returns at the end of days, it will be for all mankind. Okay. So when Jesus, so if, if, when it says that Jesus is a sign for mankind, is that only for Israel, or is that for everyone? Okay. When Jesus first came, he was just for the children of Israel. When he returns. He'll come to slay the Dajjal and for the and for all where, of mankind. Where does your Quran say that when Jesus first came, he was only for Israel? Where does your Quran say that? We see we said Isa son of uh, Maryam is to the Bani Israel. Yeah, but where does it say only to Israel? We sent him to the Bani Israel. Being sent to Israel doesn't exclude everyone else, right? Well, if you're being sent to Bani Israel to the people of Israel, children of Israel, yes, it does. Does that mean that you're only for Israel? Well, if you're sent to the children of Israel, you're not sent to the children of the Gentiles, are you? But that doesn't mean just because you're sent to, like, for example, was Muhammad sent to China? No, Muhammad sent for the whole of mankind. He was sent to the whole of mankind, but did he yeah. leave Arabia? He didn't need to. He sent delegation to Rome, to Persia, to Byzantium and called them all to Islam. Got you. So he himself didn't have to go outside of Arabia for his message to be no. for everyone else, right? No, 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 no. No, there's a difference. Allah says in the Quran, we sent you Muhammad as a mercy to mankind. Ah. We sent, oh, this is different. And Muhammad, peace and peace, acted upon that by sending a delegation to Persia, to Egypt and to Rome, calling them all to worship Allah. So therefore... This is a, a, an indication and a demonstration of his mission, that he wasn't just there for the Arabs. He mm -hmm. called the Persians. He called the Egyptians. Now, Jesus, yeah, didn't do that. Jesus was sent to the children of Israel. Okay. So even, even according to what you have left, well, even according mm -hmm. to what you have left, mm -hmm. the remnants, the echoes of the life of mm -hmm. Jesus, yeah, mm -hmm. he clearly states who he came for. He clearly demonstrates who he came for. Got you. So, all right. All right. So let's talk about this. What you just said. You said that Muhammad was for all mankind because, and here was your evidence, is that the Quran says he's a mercy for mankind. And then you said that Muhammad demonstrated what Allah has said in the Quran by sending delegations to these other nations. That's what you said. So you have the claim from Allah that proves that Muhammad is not just for Arabia, but for all mankind. And then you have the demonstration. Okay. In the Quran, it says that Jesus 
is a mercy for mankind, a sign and a mercy for mankind. So he wasn't just for Israel by that standard. No, no. He was no, no. also for the rest of the world. Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad is the final messenger. There's no more messengers coming. The new Sharia is with Muhammad. The previous prophets now have been surpassed. Just as Jesus surpassed Moses and Muhammad surpassed Jesus. Okay. So when Allah speaks about Muhammad, he's the final messenger. Th this is the message to mankind. When it's talking about Jesus, it's, it's past tense. It's what's happened in history kind of thing. So we know as Muslims, or we believe as Muslims, that Jesus, when he was sent, had a mission to go to the children of Israel, to call them back to worship it and uh, worship the God of uh, worship Allah. And then afterwards, when they rejected him and such, then when he returns at the end of days to slay the Antichrist, yeah, then he will be for everybody, obviously. He's not just going to come back for the Muslims. He's going to come back for everybody. Okay. So, okay. so that that's, that's that. So you said that Muhammad is for mankind because the Quran says he's a mercy for mankind. And then demonstrated it by sending delegates of, of, uh, of his message and the message of Islam to these different nations and different people. So what you have here is you have where Jesus, according to your Quran, is sent to Israel, but is also said to be a sign and a mercy for mankind. So the same way that you believe that Muhammad is for mankind, the Quran says the same thing about Jesus. Which is why you should know where Jesus preached as the Messiah, what he did, what was in his message. No, no, we don't. No, why no, no. You should know we, we, we don't need to know these things. Would you he mean? was he's a messenger. Uh, 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 he is he not your Messiah? Oh, uh, okay. No, he's not my Messiah. No. Okay. <laughs> he's not your Messiah. That's no. tough. No, he's not where, my where, Messiah. Where do, you, where do you get this idea that he's not your Messiah? Because he was sent to the children of Israel as their Messiah. Wait, okay. Who was, just, at, wait, who was at, promised the Messiah? Who was promised the Messiah? At, at, at any point, who, who, who was promised the Messiah? Did Jesus stop being Messiah? Well, one second, one second. Who no, was no, promised the Messiah? Is, no, Hamza, this no, is no. the question. Does Jesus who, stop being who, the Messiah at some point? Who, who was promised the Messiah? Everyone. Where does Not it just say Israel, that? everyone. The Gentiles too. Where does it say that? In Isaiah 49. What does it say? In Isaiah 49, 6, it says, talking about the Messiah, it's too small a thing that I should uh, make you my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to bring back the preserved of Israel. But I will also make you a light to the Gentiles that my salvation may reach the ends of the earth. So both Gentiles and the Israelites are promised the Messiah. So, so you're saying to me, when the Jews read their Old Testament, they, they recognize a Messiah that's going to be sent to the Gentiles. Yes. I can't believe you said Jesus is not your Messiah. That's wild. Yeah, he's not. It's tough, man. Okay, so 49. Listen, Isles, unto me and hearken, ye people for far. The Lord hath called me from the womb. So you think this is Jesus being spoken about, yeah? Of course. It's the Messiah. The bowels of my mother hath he made mention of my name, and he hath made me my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me and said unto me, Thou art my servant, O Israel. Whoa. That's Jacob. No, it's not. Who, who is Israel? That's the Messiah. Thou art my servant, O Israel. Mm -hmm. Keep reading. No, he, but I'm, re I'm reading it. Thou art my yeah. servant, O Israel. So yeah. it's talking about Jacob. One second. No, and it's who am I? About the Messiah. You're, you're about to. Well, who, who is Israel? Who is Israel? I'm, I'm about to show you. You have Israel. You have the individual Israel, who's the Messiah, right. who represents Israel. Then you have Israel, the nation, who that okay. individual says. Oh, oh, okay. So let me just read this again. This is yeah. Isaiah speaking, yeah, and mm -hmm. he hath made so. So this is what uh, this is Isaiah is speaking prophetically with the Messiah. Right, 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 right. So this is this is um, him speaking. Yeah, listen, O isles, unto me, and hearken, ye people. The Lord hath called me from the womb. Okay. So you think this is Jesus speaking? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So this is. Let's imagine this is Jesus speaking. From the bowels of my mother hath he mentioned me, and he hath made me my mouth like a sharp sword. In the shadow of his hand hath he hid me, and made me a polished shaft. In his quiver hath he hid me, and said unto me, Thou art my servant. So now this means God has said to Jesus, Thou art my servant, O Israel. Correct. Well, Jesus is not Israel. Jesus is Israel. No, the Jesus Messiah, is not Israel. Messiah Jacob is, is Israel. Jacob is Israel. Okay, keep reading. We're gonna, I'm about to show All right. you. All right, so in context, it's talking about Jacob, not Israel. It's not. It's talking uh, about the Messiah who's identified as Israel. Well, well it, can't, it can't be where God is saying to this per individual, thou art my servant, O Israel. Okay, just if I promise you, Hamza, it all gets cleared up if you just keep reading. I promise. Okay. And now said the Lord, 
that formed me from the womb to be his servant, to bring Jacob, Jacob again to him. To bring who? Jacob. Wait, I thought I thought that was Jacob. One second. Hmm. I thought that was Jacob. Well, look, look. Can I can I make something very very plain to you? Sure. This this Old Testament, yeah, it makes many many mistakes, errors. It <laughs> well, well, it does. It does. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So so so. One Israel, second, one second. So the person who's one Israel second, is supposed to bring back Jacob. So he's not Jacob himself, right? Oh, okay. And Jesus has never been called Israel. He's being called Israel right there. He's never been called Israel. You're right assuming there. it's... No, no. You need him to be called Israel for this point. When has Jesus been called Israel? Right there in Isaiah 49. Uh, other than other than here, where else? Doesn't need to be anywhere else. Well, it does because you're implying it's talking about him where it doesn't well, mention... That's what it says. I just want to show you how bad that argument is. In well, chapter 61, verse, do you believe that Ahmed and Muhammad are the same person? Yeah, no issue. Okay. So in chapter 61, verse 6, which is what we're talking about, right? It says that Jesus says that Ahmed will come after him. You say that that's Muhammad. Where in the Quran elsewhere is Muhammad identified as Ahmed? Oh, see, here's the thing, you see. We don't just refer to the Quran. We have the Quran and Sunnah, isn't it? Uh, I don't, I don't, why, why, are you, why are you throwing your arms in the air uh, like you've just done something? This is tough. This, this is just what I'm saying, the inconsistency. Well, not, you what, have, what was inconsistent? What was inconsistent? You, you're, you're, you're trying to say that there's a problem with Jesus only being referred to uh, as Israel one time. And if no time before that or after that, then that means there's a problem. No, I'm you asking have, you. No, you don't no, have no. Muhammad being identified as Ahmed. In the no, Quran. no, but there's a difference here, you see. God is telling us that this is who he's talking about. Yeah. Uh, where? In the Quran. Yeah. Is Quran. Is, 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 where in the is, where I got you. Where in the Quran does Allah say Ahmed is Muhammad? That's a good question. 61.6. Really? Yes. And remember when Jesus, son of Mary, said, O children of Israel, I am truly God's messenger to you, confirming the Torah which came before me and giving good news of a messenger after me whose name will be Ahmed. Yet when the prophet came to them with clear proofs, they said, this is pure magic. Who who does more wrong? So w there's only one prophet that came after Jesus, which would be Muhammad, isn't it? Uh, well, that's according to you. But where does the Quran say? You say no, no. You, have, you have to well, no, that, right? No, 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 no. The, the Quran is clear that the prophet that came after Jesus was Muhammad. Well, see, but again, you have to infer this because nowhere in the Quran does it say that Ahmed is Muhammad. So does it say? Does it say that Prophet Muhammad was the the messenger after Jesus or not? Uh, where does the Quran say that? No, does it? I, I, not to, not to my knowledge. But your knowledge is very limited when it comes to this stuff. Sure. So is yours. You, well, no, 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 no. <sighs> You don't even know about your own stuff, mate. I don't know why you're trying to say I don't know. I'm willing so to does learn. the Quran say that Jesus came after Jesus? Well, I, I, listen, I'm, I, 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 listen, I'd have to make your argument for you, do I? <laughs> you don't argument. know the answer. <laughs> you don't know. Well, you, you said you could be honest and reflect. So reflect on this. Does okay. the Quran say Muhammad came after Jesus? Show me that. Well, we just showed you 616. But anyway, one well, 616 says Ahmed, not Muhammad. Oh, one second, one second. Bear me so a second. apparently, we might have two prophets that came after Jesus. Somebody named Ahmed just and then bear Muhammad. A second. Okay, so this is from the Hadith. Uh, hadith? Yeah. I didn't ask about the Hadith. According to you know the Quran, Allah says that the Quran is a detailed explanation of everything. No, the Quran also says there's many ambiguous things. Which means that there's a contradiction. Thank you, Hamza. No, no, it doesn't mean. It means some verses are clear, and some things um, you need people of knowledge to understand. Right. So when you, when there's actually... And, and, Allah, and, and you know the irony? Allah says the mischievous ones, like you, will ignore the explicit and will dig in the ambiguous. Well, well, well let's talk about this for a second. You yeah. just proved to me that the Quran is a contradiction. When the Quran says... It's not a contradiction. It's a, but hold on, no. Let me ask you this. Can the Quran be a detailed explanation of everything while at the same time have things that are unexplained and unclear? If the Quran says that some things are clear and mm -hmm. some things are ambiguous mm -hmm. and, the, and the disbelievers and mischief makers will ignore the clear and will dig in the ambiguous. Mm -hmm. It's not. No. If you're well, saying every single th if Allah says everything in the Quran, you'll understand clearly, plainly that it, it doesn't say that. Well, it, it, it says that everything... To make things clear. It well, doesn't no. say everything. I, I, let me be clear about the verse. It's chapter everything. 12. Oh, yes. It says that the Quran 
is a detailed explanation of everything. So with regards to what? Me? Huh? With regards to what? What's in the Quran? The Quran Where does says, it say that? Where, where yes, does it say that? Yeah, chapter 12, verse 111. Come on, man. You're going to learn your book today, man. In their stories, there is truly a lesson for people of reason. This message cannot be a fabrication. Rather, it is a confirmation of previous revelation, a detailed explanation of all things, a guide, and a mercy for people of faith. Yeah? Boom. So I... No, it's not talking about every single aspect of what's in the Quran. It's talking about what's happened in the past, present, and what's coming in the future. Exactly. The so, so the things that the Quran say, mentions about no, the past, present, and the future. There's nowhere in that verse. That, this right? is the problem, you see. You're listening to too much to Sam Shimon, yeah? Nowhere in that it's verse, nowhere in that verse does it mention that the Quran explains everything. No. Okay. okay, let's pause here. When it says this message. It's ref you ignore the whole paragraph and you read the last chapter. No, the last verse. Where I, where I, no, Hamza, listen. We're identifying what it's talking about. When it says this message is not a fabrication, but a confirmation of what okay, came before. Okay, okay, one second. What is this message? Second, what is the, this message? We only, what was I saying? we only sent you before, Prophet, men inspired by us from among the people of each society. Have the deniers not traveled through the land to see what the end of those destroyed before them? And surely the eternal home of the hereafter is far better for those mindful of God. Will you not then understand? And when the messengers despaired and their people thought the messengers had been denied help, our help came to them at last. We then saved whoever we... What are you doing? I'm stirring the pot, sorry. What are you doing that for? Because uh, I'm cooking you. What it's talking about is the Quran correct? Right. The message. No. 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 Let's talk about the message from God throughout all the previous prophets. What anyway. is confirming that came before it? Oh, okay. Did you not hear you what just I said? said it's the Quran. Now you're switching up. Then bring bring right. up John, because bring up John, because he's much more knowledgeable on in Jeel and all these things. Yeah. And I, we won't tag team. I won't get involved if he's just talking or whatever. But if you want to have all the answers and all angles covered, bring up John as well. In chapter 12, 111, do you deny that it's talking about the Quran? It says that this, this message is not a fabrication, but a confirmation of what came before it. Do you deny that it's talking about the Quran right there? Or do we or are we on the same page that yes, it's talking about the Quran? I, I would have to look more into it. I, I would say no. Sorry, just give me, the, give me the verse. Sorry, I, I didn't... Uh, the verse is, I, the verse is chapter uh, 12, chapter 12, verse 111. It, this verse, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's speaking about the Quran. Thank you, Jeff. Thank yeah. you, Jeff. So, Hamza, your original position was that this is not talking about the Quran. John came up and confirmed that this was talking about the Quran. And what I said about Ibn Kathir is that Ibn Kathir agrees that this that the Quran is referring to itself. You didn't agree with that at first. Okay. Now it seems I've, that I've, you ch do. I've changed my position. Okay, no worries. So now you agree that it's talking about okay. the Quran, which is what I was yeah, talking about. Yeah, but okay, to. but it's no, no, Wait, but it's I didn't about the cut Quran. you off, bro. I did not cut right, you off. On. So what I'm saying is, is that everything that the Quran talks about, the things that the Quran mentions, it's detailed and explained about all of it, because that's what the Quran says. OK, so the Quran says in that verse that it is a detailed explanation of everything. So it cannot be both. It can't be a detailed explanation of everything while at the same time have unclear, ambiguous verses that are unexplained. Can't do that. That's a contradiction. This goes back to this goes back to that thing that I said to you in Surah Al-Imran about the explicit <laughs> and the ambiguous. Yeah, that we have explicit things clear. And, mm -hmm. and we have things that are ambiguous. We agree with that. And um, sometimes we need I scholars to help us understand these things. Or we need the prophet to explain these wait, things. Wait, wait, time out though. Here's the problem. Yeah. According to the verse, who understands the ambiguous verses? Uh, the prophet and people of knowledge. No. Potentially. Nope. Not even them. Not even Muhammad. Not even the people of knowledge. Because the Quran no. says in that verse, chapter 3, verse 7, it says, none knows the meaning except Allah. It says the, the people of knowledge the, the, just say it's off from Allah. The absolute meaning, yeah. Absolute. No, no, not the abs no, it doesn't say absolute. It says well, no, the, that's, that's the, meaning. the apparent meaning. <laughs> <laughs> and not knows its interpretation, not its full interpretation, but its interpretation. The word full is not there or true is not there. No one knows its interpretation except Allah. Not even the people of knowledge, not even Muhammad. 
Only Allah knows the meaning of these unclear verses. So you can't go to the tafsir to help you. You can't go to Muhammad to help you. Only Allah knows the meaning of these. God, Lord, to be honest with you, I mean, you know, we have to hold our hands up, me and Hamza. You know, we're not masters of the Arabic language. You're probably better to speak into a linguist. I'm, I'm talking about a scholar of the Arabic language uh, when it's when it's uh, talking about the words. If, you, if you're talking about details of translation, it's the same. It's the same in uh, Christian scripture. You know, you can't read the English Bible and think you've understood it properly. You, you surely you have to go to the actual word in in the original language, right? So, of course, you can get a gist of it, but we, we, we're we all arguing and we don't know exactly, you know, ideally, if you really want to get this answered properly, either we... The, you speak to Englishmen here, yeah? Fine. Englishmen. All, all we, yeah, I mean, we're English, you know, we're not masters of the Arabic language, you know, we can read Arabic, but we're not masters of the language. Mm -hmm. um, so, I mean, if, there, if you would like to speak to someone, I can try and, I mean, I'm sure Hamza knows somebody, someone with better knowledge of Arabic who can go in more details of... And show you examples. Okay, this word have, was used in this part Arabic, of the Quran. I have Arabic speakers. This is why I know this. This is why okay. I know that the word okay. true or fool wasn't there. Maybe you can organize that. one day for you know a Muslim Arabic speaker, Christian Arabic speaker to come and speak about this pop this topic, and they can give their evidences. But I don't think we're going to do it justice. This is where anyway, we are. So, so no. where the okay. Quran says that these are unclear verses, while the Quran and and by the way. 12.111 is not the only place. It's in multiple places that it says it's fully explained and fully detailed. Give me, an example. Give me another example. Give me another Hamza, example. Hamza, don't prolong this, this, this conversation. No, no, no. All right, all right, all right. Come right, right. 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 on. Avery, Avery, Avery. If God Avery, Avery, wants to get onto the original topic, I know he wants Avery, to get onto hold, that. Hold on a second. Avery, Avery, John has come to answer your original question. Well, I'm solidifying this and then we can move on. Well, you're not solidifying Okay, let him solidify it, Hamza. No problem, let him do it. This was you have chapter 6, verse 114, that chapter says that the Quran is fully detailed. Don't That's entertain it, Hamza. Come I'm on. Sure I'm, I'm not going to entertain to go it. There. John doesn't want you to go there. You don't have to go there. I'm just giving you the verses. No, he wants to get to the point. Well, this is the point. You're the one. You're the reason why we're here in the first place. When we came to the Jesus, is, is Jesus mentioned in the NGO and stuff like that. Yeah. You, because of you, got us all the way here to where you pre helped me present a contradiction in the Quran. Okay. Let me read this I'm just going to read this verse you went to. So 6.114. Say, oh, oh prophet. No, I'm just going to show this nonsense just spouting these <laughs> verses. Can't help it, John. Read it then. I won't read it then. But again, you've misread it. It doesn't uh, matter. Uh, hold on. He said I misread it. I, I can't. No, no, is, no. Don't bite on that. Don't bite on that. Don't bite on that. The thing, is, it, don't bite on the thing is, I'm I'm if any... Biting, if, then is it other than Allah I should seek as judge while it is he who revealed to you the book Explained in detail. Did, did I read it wrong? Hamza? Well, yeah, you did. You did. I'll read it. Uh, I'm reading it. I'm reading the Quran here, mate. Okay. <laughs> Say, O Prophet, should I seek a judge other than God while he is the one who has revealed to you the book with the truth perfectly explained? The truth? Wow. Yeah. So that's not even there. That's not even in the. It doesn't say with the truth perfectly explained. It says that oh, the oh, book okay. is explained in detail. It's okay. Not in the Arabic. It, it, it says the Quran contains the truth. The, uh, I'm telling you, the word haq, which is truth in the Arabic, it does not exist in this verse. It's not there in the, in the Quran. Oh, okay. I'll say it again to you. It says the book... Look, you've got to understand. You, it's not just taking the word and translating it. It's understanding the context of what's being spoken about. This is how translation works. So they're, so they're, so they're putting their own interpretation... But this is what the Bible the does. Yeah, like the Bible does. Wait, no, I mean, no. You, don't wait. do that. Don't you do that. Don't you do that. Can you admit... That I read it correctly. Well, one second, one second. When you see something in brackets in the Bible, what does it mean? What verse is this? This, this is, is chapter uh, 6, verse 114. What six, number? Verse 114. Chapter 6, verse 114. Hamza, did I read it correctly? Not according to my Quran, no. All right, so your Quran has the fabrication. Yeah. What's Why explained would I in use detail? The okay, what, what's explained in detail? The Quran. It's, it's, it's Muslims. They go. They go watching uh, Sam Shimon's, David Woods, Avery's, uh, this kind of stuff, and they um, they get doubts. And I have I've advised Muslims stay away from these people, man. I just want doubts in your life. Oh my God. Logic.